Alright guys, here it is. Game number three, YCS Liverpool Finals. We got Light Sorns in the finals here. Unfortunately, I came here a little late, wasn't able to record the first two games, but... Wow, I saw Light Sorns and I'm like, okay, we gotta record this. We gotta record this. PK Fire vs. Light Sorns. Game number three for all the marmals. Crazy stuff here, Salda. So, uh, PK Fire player from England, Thomas Rose. He won in game number one. And then Tom Virgitz from Germany. He won game number two. You know, Fairy Tale Snow is the MVP from what I've heard from this chat. Putting in the work, being able to that free, quick effect, Book of Moon. It is so easy to summon from the graveyard, but Family Night player. Omens up pretty nice as well with first turn pot of desires. Draw two cards. Banish the top 10 cards seems so legit. Just everything's playing Pot of Desires. I mean, even ABCs, which were in the most represented deck of this YCS, getting 14 out of the 32 spots. They're playing it. Magi Spectre's playing it. Blue Eyes playing it. And even the Lights were in deck that Tom is playing. is playing it. I just not realized we got Thomas versus Tom here. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Thomas versus Tom. So anyway, this is the first turn... Speed of a terror top, gonna go for Taka Tomborg, and there's the Flying C. Wow, Flying C. Now, it's really good to use against Burning Abyss, because when you Flying C, Burning Abyss, they die, but, I mean, still, kind of puts Thomas Rose here in a little bit of a conundrum. Not being able to go to for those first turn Dante shenanigans, Beatrice as well. Uh, let's see what other cards he has in his hand. He has Farfa, Fiendish Rana Warrior, he has the Phantom Knight's Cloak. Anti spell fragrance and another pot of desires. So we can only play one pot of desires per turn, so we won't be able to do that. We'll most likely just set the anti spell fragrance. Okay, he's gonna normal summon Farfa to banish. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna normal summon that Farfa to banish the flying sea, and then now he can exceed as much as he wants. Dante, he hits a Skarm, another Farfa, and a Phantom Knight. Dang. Very, very, very good mills, to say the least. Dear Lord. So now he can add himself a tour guide during the end phase if he really wants to. And he's going to use the effect of that found in the graveyard. Forgot the name. What is it called again? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh my god. Gloves, right? Gloves. Alright, I knew I'd think of it eventually. He's going to use gloves, banish it, to add a fog blade from his deck to the hand. He's going to set a whole bunch of back row. He's going to set the other pot of desires. And along with that, he'll set the anti spell and the fog blade as well. Okay, pretty good. And then end phase, he'll be able to add himself tour guide. I wonder if he did add the tour guide. The world may never know, but yeah, that anti spell fragrance definitely going to put in some work. He'll be able to flip that up, and now our German player will not be able to get any use out of his key draw cards like Solar Recharge, Pot of Desires, and even Charge of Light Brigade. So it's not really looking that good for Tom. Which it's so hard to call them by their name because they're both they're both their names are Tom. So it's like really. So anyway, let's see. He has Wolf in his hand. I see that right off the bat. That's not that good. He has double Fairy Tail Snow. Charge the Light Brigade, which he can't play because of the anti spell fragrance. He has Wolf. Like just not a good hand at all. Like not a good hand. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like Light Sarns are going to be winning. That's game number three here. And yeah, Flying Sea will come back to the field during the end phase. So, I mean, at least on the plus side, our player from England will not be able to exceed further, but the damage is pretty much already done. And yeah, the chat here is like, ban Dante, because the entire chat is rooting for Light Sorns, but, I mean, the power of Dante, man, not getting touched on that ban list. Alright, so still the PK Fire player's turn. He's going to be normal summoning his Phantom Knight. Alright, I think that was Cloak, right? Yeah, not Boots, has to be Cloak. Hard to see with that glare. 
Oh, that glare. I can barely even see it. And he's going to fog blade his own flying C. Oh, that's pretty good. And he's going to exceed with the flying C. Oh, the MLG plays. It's like, thanks for the flying C, bro. I'm just going to exceed with it. And he's going to go into Levier the Sea Dragon. I think that's ulti. Is that an ulti? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> Ultimate or Levier's look so nice. Like, I'm just saying. They look so, so nice. But he's going to get back his gloves. And then he's going to special summon boots, succeed into another rank 3 here. And if only he knew how bad his opponent's hand is. Like, his hand is so bad. There's, like, nothing he can do with that. He's going to go into break sword. Probably kill the... Maybe the monster... I think the back row is a little bit more scary since it is game three. It could be anything. It could be like a side deck card. Okay, he's gonna go after the monster, and that is completely loot useless. Fairy tale snow. Is, he doesn't have any graveyard setup, and I mean he only has three cards or four cards in his hand, so he can't even like banish all the cards in his hand to summon it. So yeah, no fear, drowning mirror force. Absolutely no fear. Uh, he's just going to YOLO it and attack directly with the Levy Air first. And yup, the attack is fine. And this will shave off a huge chunk out of the German player's life points. And game over. Wow, that's game really? Is that really game? No, it bring Tom down to 700, but apparently that was game. Wow, so unfortunately... Lightsworn's not being able to win the YCS, but making it to the finals, very, very close. PK Fire ends up victorious. PK Fire is still one of the best decks, along with Blue Eyes and ABCs. But surprisingly, Blue Eyes didn't get a lot of top spots at this YCS. Only like one Blue Eyes in the top 32, but I'll talk about that stuff later in the YCS Liverpool review. Of course, next week, we'll have Invasion Vengeance TCG, so Treat Toad. I think the next YCS is actually in Anaheim, so that should be pretty nice to see what's going to do well at that YCS Anaheim sometime later, I think in November, mid-November, so with Treat Toad being legal, the shenanigans should be so real with that, and also Teller Knights to get new support, DDD's new support, but for right now, it was not the ABCs in the finals, they did make top 4, they did get 14 out of the 16 spots at this YCS, but they did not win it, instead PK Fire, one of the most successful decks in this year of 2016 wins yet another YCS here. So thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the YCS Liverpool review.